why that makes me feel awkward, but it does. And sometimes I just want mashed potatoes and I'm feeding my soul. <laughs> hey guys, I have had a huge breakthrough today. I'm so like excited and like relieved. It's like I just connected some major dots about who I am and why I do things the way I do before I saw them as these weaknesses and these frustrations and these hindrances. Now I can see them as creative opportunities <laughs> and, and passionate about creating um, things outside the box. It makes sense that I would need to do things outside the box. Early on in my Revolution Hive experience, um, I began the habit tracking. Habit tracking is great because it gives you an opportunity to maybe narrow down what's really important to you and to kind of streamline what isn't. Um, the task that we all partake in that really don't do much in the end. I did pretty well with the habits in the beginning because I wanted to do well and I wanted to please and I wanted to impress and and all of that the my group um, our group and so I did really well with it and and it was very helpful for a lot of reasons but I quickly found that it was like everything else in my life I felt very stifled and I started resisting that. I see this in other areas of my life, for instance, um, when I'm trying to, like this 90 day challenge I've begun where I'm trying to be focused and diligent with health and nutrition, um, I have found myself making even worse choices than I was just before starting this. It's because the drive is there to do very well and to please everyone and to to be the best at whatever I'm doing. I want to inspire people. I want to prove to myself that I can do it. But I set these goals for myself that are very hard for me to achieve because what I have found consistently over and over throughout my entire life is that when there are a lot of rules and regulations placed on me and these parameters that I have to abide by, I do not like it. I am a free spirit, complete free spirit. And it stifles me, it's suffocating to me. And it's not that I don't respect boundaries or respect rules because I know they're in place for a reason. What I've realized is today, there has to be another way. I am a free spirit. I wanna experience life. I wanna savor the moment. I want to be curious. I wanna be reckless. I want to be excited and passionate. I want it to be an adventure. And when I set restrictions in my mind it kills that because there is a definite goal and outcome and it takes away the excitement of it and then it makes me feel stifled because then now I have to do this and now it becomes a task instead of an experience so what's important to me why why do I want to do this 90 day challenge 90 90 day challenge okay so here's why I want to live life to the fullest. I want to feel good in my body. I want to nourish my body and my soul. I want to have energy. I want to feel light on my feet. I want to be, I want what I'm doing and what I'm eating and how I'm expending my energy to reflect my soul, the expression of my soul. And so I like healthy foods and I like unhealthy foods, but when I eat unhealthy foods, I feel like shit and I feel disappointed in myself because I know better. When I eat healthy foods, I feel good. I feel proud of myself. Like I'm doing something for me. Like I am, I am nourishing my body, heart, soul, mind, everything. Um, and sometimes I just want mashed potatoes and I'm feeding my soul. <laughs> and that's okay if it's every once in a while. But ultimately, I want the balance to be that I'm eating food that is nourishing to me. One of those things means that I don't eat very much meat. And part of that is because of how animals are treated and that how that process is completed um, from farm to table or from stockyard to table. 
but also because it is just very difficult on my body to digest that it's very hard on your body and it's um, it makes me feel sluggish and I can't focus and I just feel heavy and I just don't feel very good in general it, it creates inflammation and all of that and so you know I'm just gonna kind of keep that to a minimum I'm just gonna listen to my body and so what I've decided is that instead of creating this you know lofty like uh, this is I'm gonna eat this many carbs or this many grams of this many things and tracking it and everything I'm just that's that does not work for me it will never work for me I don't need to change who I am to try to look a certain way that it doesn't even matter to me like I want to look good I want my skin to look healthy I want to be toned and and all of that but my nourishment comes from the process not the outcome so my nourishments coming from what I'm doing with each meal um, do I feel good? Am I savoring flavors? Am I enjoying the bites that I'm taking? Am I paying attention to the conversation around me? Am I paying attention? Like today I sat outside before starting this with my juice and or my smoothie and I was just looking at all the beautiful colors on the trees and just being present, you know, just being present. And that's the thing for me, I crave like the experience and being present and being in the moment and if I'm setting these goals and it's not for me about like this 90 day challenge is not really about the outcome it, it takes me out of the present and it puts me fast forwarding into the future and I develop anxiety and then I start to dig my heels in and I sabotage myself so recognizing this I realized listen I want to experience this and that means that each day if there's something I want to work on like if I'm like you know I want to drink more water today I want to be I want to eat slower I want to pay attention I want to eat raw food I want to just drink juice today I need to learn how to listen to my body and I know how I just need to be present so that I understand what my body is telling me and that's where that true success and fulfillment will come for me all the other things the outcome will be the outcome and it doesn't even matter what that is it's about the process so um, you know I know this is very like hippie free spirit talk and not everyone's gonna relate with that and that's okay but I know there's got to be some people out there that relate with this because we're so focused on goals and and everything and there's nothing wrong with that because there's a lot of people that they they work on that so well I mean that's what they need they want that structure and they need that structure and so you do you boo but for me like I feel like there's just not a lot of things out there for people like me that are just very free-spirited and it's like all this time I felt like bad like why can't I just function and structure what was wrong with me but it stifles my creativity it, it stifles my self-expression my soul work you know and so that's more important to me right now so that's where instead of goal setting I've moved into intentions and manifestations and learning how to detach from the outcome because again when you attach to an outcome you lose the ability to be present and you miss you miss the moment you miss the magic so anyway so today I am juicing it up I stopped by this incredibly quaint beautiful little hippie store called high juice on Cherry Street on Cherry Street in Tulsa if you're in the area and I got another one for later. This one is Clarity. This one has green apple, celery, spinach, kale, lemon, and ginger. I hope I can drink it. I'm not a big ginger fan, but I think it's kind of an acquired taste. Um, and I'm just going to do it because I know that I will feel better by just 
getting some good greens and juice in my system. So this one has um, some blueberries in it and a little bit of banana, um, lots of kale and some spinach and a little bit of lemon. Um, so yeah, anyways, I hope this was helpful to you all out there. Please feel free to comment below, like, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'm getting ready to start Vlogmas in December. I'm going to vlog a little bit each day. I hope I have enough <laughs> interesting things, but I will be moving, so I'll be vlogging some of that. That will be fun and crazy and all that good stuff. But, you know, new chapters. New chapters are exciting. And, um, you know, life, there's too much in life going on to be bored so <laughs> anyways I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon bye